What's up, Eddie? Had a second at work, so I wanted to break this down for you. Uh, off the floor, really good. Bop, bop. Uh, this looks really clean. So you're here. You do a good job of sweeping the bar back. No complaints about the bar back position. Um, as you go into extension, though, there's a couple things I'd like to see. Uh, first and foremost, right here, let's look at your, let's start talking about your footwork. Okay, so let's focus on the footwork here. <clears throat> so as you go into extension, uh, there's not a lot of movement of the feet. Um, you stay kind of in this same little box right here the entire time. Now, not necessarily a horrible thing, but what you're going to run into is as you hit that right there, okay, your feet are already kind of set and locked in the ground, all right? And uh, you don't really have a lot of room to move underneath the bar, okay? So you're kind of jamming yourself here, okay? You're getting jammed up. You're not able to move quickly underneath the bar, and then your elbows are locked out really late. Um, an awesome thing to think about, and they talk about it a lot, a lot of different ways and coaches have talked about it, is you want your elbows to lock out at the same time as your feet are hitting the floor. Okay, So for you, that means that you're going to need to have a little bit of activity on this extension. After you get your extension here, these feet should be looking to replace slightly out, so a little bit wider, with the goal of simultaneously locking out these elbows when the feet hit. Okay, so your timing and sequencing is off right there in terms of elbows are still bent and you're pretty much, you're stuck right there, you're glued, so there's not a lot of room to go, okay? And that's why I feel like you missed this lift out front. So let's focus in and work on that mentally, okay? So we're going to think about letting the feet move out, okay? We're going to move the feet out, replace and aim to have the elbow lock out the same time as the feet hit. And then let's watch this through one time, slow-mo. Stuck, boom, spit out. Okay, let me know if you have any questions on that. Uh, that's a common thing we see, people get stuck down in the bottom because they're not replacing or widening the feet and getting into a good position to receive the bar. So. By doing that, it should help you naturally pull underneath the bar a little bit faster, get those elbows locked out, and make lifts just like that. Thanks, Eddie.